Omar scavenges to make a living. He collects metal and plastic and bits of bombs that were once sent to destroy his city. After his father died, Omar became the main provider for his family and his mentally disabled brother. It cost him his education. I work in this business because if I go to school, we will not be able to make a living. We have nobody to provide for us. I would like to attend school, but if I do, we will not survive. He is one of thousands making the most out of Mosul's battle scars. His city was reduced to rubble in fighting between the Iraqi army and Daesh. It took almost a year to free the city and end three years of oppression by Daesh. In the meantime, Mosul's economy and infrastructure were ravaged. Officials estimate that $700 million is needed to get the city built up again, a sum the government says it doesn't have to spare. But there's no shortage of rubble. Here, children usually make between three to four U.S. dollars a day by collecting around 50 kilograms of metal. They sell it to people like Bashar Mohammed, who says his most frequent suppliers are kids. From the age of seven up to 14, they all don't go to school because they have to work. There are people who are starving. Their houses were destroyed and no one came forward to help them. So the children are forced to work and provide for their families. For children like Omar and his brother, it means all they can do is to make the most of what they manage to find. But for now, the only education they're getting is what they can learn on the street. Alatin College, TRT World.